back to my channel and welcome back to another day of 12 days of Listmas. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. I'm so glad that you're here. We are in the midst of 12 straight days of new videos every single day all the way up to Christmas. Today, we are getting into this beautiful, easy holiday glam tutorial. For me, I like my holiday glam to be like not too much, but just really nice and pretty more of like an elevated version of my signature look basically i just think this look is so pretty and i'm really excited to show you exactly how you can achieve it super quick special shout out to naomi this is your content request y'all if you didn't know you can submit content requests i'll put the link below it's like a special link and if i pick your video idea i go ahead and give out a special shout out so special shout out to naomi girl this video is for you all right let's get this party started i have my cute little holiday outfit on it's like this mini dress it's literally giving like mrs claus the make it fashion and I'm here for it. So y'all know me, I like a nice and simple, easy to achieve makeup look that is still like nice and flawless and smooth without being like overly glam and super cakey. But I'm gonna be using a lot of my newer go-to products like Ride or Die, amazing game changer for your makeup. And it's gonna be like an elevated version of my regular signature look. Of course, as always, I like to start with brows. Now, quick update, I have stopped officially laminating my brows. I don't know, I just felt like with my laminated brows when they weren't done up with like makeup and everything, I feel like they looked really kind of crazy. So like now they look like nice and full and stuff because they're not laminated anymore, but I still like the laminated look whenever I do do makeup. So I've been loving the ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. It's like a brow styling wax and this is like way more than just your regular like brow gel. It is a wax. It is going to set your brows in place forever. Forever and ever, amen, until you wash your face off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my hairs up first with the wax. This is always where I like to start. You don't wanna use this wax after you have foundation on your face. It's gonna kinda move things around, mess things up if you start with your foundation and base already on. So. Even without this though, it's always been my preference to do brows first. I don't know why. Actually, I think it's just because when my brows are done, I feel like my face really looks put together and it just, I don't know, helps to get me in the mood to do the rest of my face. And we can use the sh like flat edge of the end of this tool to really press it down and make sure the hairs are gonna stay in place. We really are gonna have to make this nice and quick and easy because Hershey and I are shooting our photos today. I'm gonna do one look, which is this look by myself. And then I also have a matching pajamas look with Hershey. We have matching pajamas and it's so cute. My favorite brow pencil is still the Sephora collection brow pencil. So after putting in the wax, then I will just literally go in and wherever looks a little sparse to me, I will just add in some hair like strokes. Right now, they're gonna look a little messy and crazy, but I promise you, once we get this concealer on, everything is about to come together. Then for concealer, still using the OG favorite, my NARS Concealer Pot. This is their, what's it called again? This is their Soft Matte Concealer, and I use the shade Caramel. I just got a cute little flat brush, and I put like majority of the product on my hand, and then I just slowly carve out my brows. Okay, see it happening? This looks a little thick, so we'll keep concealing it until she's perfect. And then last step is to just go in with one more little lightweight uh, layer of the brow wax. I find that this extra layer at the end helps to make your brows look super natural and not like fully carved out because the hairs will stick out a little bit more. So here's a close up. They are not perfectly carved out or anything, but just looking nice and bushy and feathered. And that's the kind of brow vibes I've been on. Time for complexion. This Vanessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. Oh my gosh. Life changing. I wear the shade number seven. This is it. It's like a cream. I've talked about this before, I think, in one of my last videos, but now I'm about to show you like how I actually use it. It's so good. So it's like a cream. Because I have nails on today, I'm actually gonna start by applying it with a brush. So this is an Urban Decay primer brush. It's like specifically for primer. It has this like hole in the middle. So I'm just gonna pick the product up with this. And I'm gonna do one side of my face first so y'all can see what this is. But I just love using this as a primer because it smooths out my skin 
blurs my pores and also evens out my skin tone all in one go it is such a beautiful consistency it's not like super creamy because it still has that powdery kind of effect it is just one of the most like life-changing or game-changing makeup products that i have used in a while so close up no product product do you see how it just kind of like really evened me out smoothed my skin it's just like the perfect starting base for makeup i love it I also like to kind of go in and smooth it in with my fingers a little bit more. I feel like this brush really kind of makes the product sit on top. So I'm really gonna like push it into my skin some more. Typically, if I'm rushing especially, I will just go in and use my fingers the whole way. But I think for a glam moment, like I get a little extra coverage when I use the brush first and then my fingers to kind of tap it in. Even though my skin has been doing really well, I do have a couple of dark spots from some random breakouts that I've had. So I'm gonna use the one size Butter Silk Concealer in the shade Dark 2. I'm just gonna dot it on and then wherever I have dark spots and like a little hyperpigmentation, like I get it around my mouth a lot. I really like this concealer color because it has like a really nice orange undertone. Um, which is really great for canceling out dark spots. Still my top five concealer. I mean, it is so good. I was stuck on NARS for a while, but this one size concealer has taken the cake. All right, so already we just did a very small amount of concealer and then on top of the primer and already we can see my skin is like evening out. It looks really beautiful. There goes my emails. Of course, this concealer is not my exact color. It's giving like Oompa Loompa. For that we just literally use that to even out my skin tone now we can go in with some foundation to get this color going correctly for foundation i'm using the charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin foundation i just pumped a little bit out on my hand and then what i do is like really blend it out on my hand first and then dab it to my face this is a huge tip if you really don't like cakey makeup, but you still need the coverage from the foundation. This is gonna give you exactly that because the majority of the foundation has already kind of been blended out into the brush. So you're really putting just exactly what you need like onto your face without doing like too much. See, she doesn't just do hair. She knows a little bit about makeup too. Okay, skin is giving. So you'll notice I have not done anything mattifying yet, and that is because, of course, I like to set with powders, but if I'm gonna set with powders, I like to be super dewy beforehand so that when we do set with powders, we have a beautiful glow that still kind of shines through that is set and not like oily and out of control. Before we go into concealer and more contouring, I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face a little bit. And we're gonna do this multiple times. Another major key, if you want to do holiday glam that's going to last you for your entire day, this is it right here. You gotta use your setting spray at multiple different steps. So I kinda like to go for complexion, then we set. Then concealer, contour and highlight, then we set. Then we do powder, then we set again. And this is how you're gonna get your face to melt and look really pretty, but also like last you. A long time so for concealer we are going in with the one size butter silk concealer again now typically I will go in with a more skin tone esque concealer or just like slightly lighter than my regular skin tone which is medium dark four but for glam moments I like to go a little bit brighter I'm actually gonna use two I'm gonna use medium dark one and also medium dark two they have two different undertones medium dark two is like a rosy undertone which I really like to have like right under my eyes looks really nice and bright medium dark one is more of a golden kind of undertone which I like everywhere else <laughs> nose contour is something I wouldn't typically do for everyday makeup I just use like a little powder in the middle instead of actual concealer but for glam we gotta we gotta conceal her up this is really where you're gonna start highlighting and bringing like dimension to your face so then we blend i like to make the concealer under my eyes sit a little bit more because you get more coverage the longer it sits look at this oh. so literally all of these products concealer foundation all of these products work very well together and they all sink right into the skin i like to drag it all the way out to the side and kind of bring it up this is really where we are starting to lift the face. Oh, 
I love me a good soft glam moment every once in a while. You can already see it happening. I'm also gonna apply excess concealer to my lids so we can really get a good base going there. Wow, who is she? I haven't glammed out in the longest time, so I know I'm about to like surprise myself today. <laughs> of course, when we highlight to get added dimension, we got a contour. Where's my contour stick? Right here. So Oma Beauty, this contour stick, I use the shade number three. It has like highlighter on one end and a contour stick on the other end. My favorite. Again, with the applying on my hand, I'm just gonna rub out a bunch of that product. And then where is my contour brush. Let me just grab a brush, dab it into the product a little bit. I like to be really specific about where I'm placing this. You wanna go directly under where you contoured, right on that cheekbone. You don't wanna go too low, otherwise it's gonna be too low and it's not gonna lift your face. But do you see that? Do you see the snatchery? That's it, it's all about just playing with lights and darks. You also don't wanna to go too overboard with this because it could tend to look a little muddy. I know for me, I have walked around with muddy contour before, many times. Many, many times. Contour and bronzer is one of my favorite things because it really brings the color back to your face. Um, but it's very, very easy to go overboard. So don't be like me and don't go too overboard. Ugh, the power of makeup. I'm starting to feel like a baddie already. And not saying that you need to have like a glammed face to feel like a baddie, but sometimes what it can do for you, what it can do for your mindset, for your mood of the day is incredible. So before we move to powder, I'm gonna set with spray a little bit again. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder. This is the loose powder in the shade Honey. I'm just gonna grab a clean sponge, dip it into the powder and just kind of press the powder into my skin. I'm really gonna kind of focus it towards the center here. I put some extra powder on my nose. My nose personally is like the first place to get oily. <laughs> the first place to clock out. So I like to kind of actually bake it a little bit. Are we seeing now how this is more, slightly more full coverage, more glam, but still like really nice and like not overly done for the skin? Love it, love it, love it. And I promise we're like basically almost done now. So we're gonna jump to the eyes really quickly. I need to put y'all on to the best eyeliner out there. The best in the game. This is the Urban Decay Prince Eyeliner in the shade So Dark. It is black and it is a massive chunky pencil. But my favorite thing about it is the formula of how this pencil works. You can draw it on, but it blends out. It like smokes out so beautifully. Mm. And I love it. So one thing I really like to do for a glam look is define my eyes. I pretty much have very soft features on my face. So my eyes are where I really like to define and like bring some added dimension and stuff. So I love to do that with a nice eyeliner. Really just focus more on the outer side of my eye. I'm gonna flick it up a little bit so we have like a mini wing and then bring it down. Okay, and you don't need to be super neat or anything because we are gonna fluff this bad boy out. So I'm just gonna take a small fluffy eyeshadow brush and literally blend this out. We're also gonna be putting on lashes today, so. Oh, that looks a mess. <laughs> okay, I did a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna use this blender to kind of clean us up just a little bit. Boom! Nice and easy. Look at the difference that did to my face. Are you kidding me? And then with some lashes to kind of balance that out, oh, it's gonna be so pretty. I know it looks a little bottom heavy right now, but I'm telling you, when the lashes are on, it's gonna give. Actually, let's put those on right now. The best trick I can give for lashes is making sure that the glue on the band that you put is nice and like tacky. So you gotta let it dry for a little bit so that it's easy to like stick right onto your lash because sometimes it can get really messy if it's not like tacky enough yet, not ready to be applied. So just give it that like extra 30 to 40 seconds or so to dry down a little bit. These are very, very natural looking lashes. This is the style for real though by Veller. I believe I snagged these from Sephora last year at the sale and I have been getting so much use out of these. I don't wear lashes often, but when I do, baby. Just because we're doing holiday glam does not mean we need to go 
big va va boom on everything. Bold lip, big uh, wings to fly me away lashes, like no. All right, lashes are on. I'm just gonna quickly use the same eyeliner to tight line underneath my top lashes. Boom, that's it. The last thing I'm gonna do for my eye is add a little bit of bronzer on top. I actually forgot about that. I usually do that before lashes, but it's fine. So I'm just really gonna focus on the outer side of my eye and then bring whatever excess we have over into the crease. There's really not much of a method here. I just kind of like to blend this all over if I'm being honest. <laughs> it just adds a little bit of extra dimension. Do we see a little bit of a difference? A little bit, it just looks a little bit more put together. All right, my friends, we are almost done. It's just time for the finishing touches that are gonna bring this entire look all the way together. So I'm gonna take my NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. I like this because I have a shade that is slightly too dark. Y'all have seen me use this before, I think. And so I just like to kind of use this as a powder because it's a loose setting powder. Oh my God, it's like all over the place. It just looks so good on the skin. So I kind of like to use this as a first step to my bronzer. So I'm really kind of just using this as a first step to bronzing a little bit. For my everyday makeup, this is my bronzer, and that is usually enough for me, but I think I'm gonna take it like one step a little bit deeper just in these cheekbones to make sure we're a little extra snatched today. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, the same one we used on my eyes, and just brush that in over top. I'm trying to be really careful again and place this strategically because you don't want it to go all over and be too muddy. So really just focusing this right underneath where we put concealer to highlight. A little bit on the forehead. Then I'm going in, yes, with another powder. This is our fourth powder, but they're all very different and they have their different benefits, their different uses. And I use all of these to make sure my makeup looks nice and poppin'. This is shade number two. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder, Press Setting Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. I just tap a little bit of a big fluffy brush in there and you can see this is like a really light powder. So I like to tap this over the highlighted parts of my face. And the thing I really like about this setting powder, it's not like overly mattifying. It's airbrushing, but like not overly mattifying so it's not gonna make you cakey or anything and I just kind of push this over the high points of my face to make sure we have a really nice highlight going on it's giving dimension it's giving bright it's giving glam but not too much it's giving put together and I feel like my confidence is like <laughs> this video is going um, no, just kidding. Don't base your confidence on your makeup level. Did I say don't base your makeup on your confidence level? I meant don't base your confidence level on your makeup. What is going on? What is going on? I think I'm just gonna add some highlighter and call it a day. Highlighter is also something that I typically would not use if this was my regular everyday makeup, but we're glamming out for the holidays, so a little extra glow would be perfect. So this is the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. This has been my favorite highlighter for a while now a while it's so good it's not super glittery it just looks really nice and glowy on the skin all right now that we're done with all of the powders i'm gonna go ahead and spray my face one last time i'm gonna let that dry and now it is time for lip nothing new to see here because i am just gonna do my regular signature lip of course for holiday glam if you are feeling like doing a bright beautiful pop of color red lip by all means. I am wearing a bright red dress and I don't necessarily want to be too matchy matchy with my dress so I am going to go ahead and do my signature brown lip. So I'm using the Rare Beauty lip liner in the shade Strong. Okay so just kind of like more on the outside. I'm going to go in with the Wifey liquid lipstick by Huda Beauty. Just going to do a couple dots in the middle. So perfect and then the last and final step is to throw on some gloss. I do not know where my NARS gloss is, so I'm gonna be using the Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Sweet Mouth. It's like a nice icy pink, it's so pretty. And here we go. All that's left is to hope that my hair is not messed up. All right, so this is the final look. Huh, what do we think? I think it's giving everything it needs to give. It still feels very, very comfortable on my face. I don't feel super mattified. I don't look super mattified, which I personally love. Um, it's not doing too much, but again, it's just doing everything that it needs to. 
So yeah guys, that's basically gonna be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that it was super easy to kind of follow along. This is a very comfortable and easy look for you to be able to achieve that can literally actually go with almost any outfit you choose, any color, whatever. This will be bomb no matter what and it will last because we sat so many times. If you are gonna go ahead and recreate this look, please take pictures, post it, tag me, let me know, I would love to see. Also, if you're new here and you made it all the way to the end, special love for you, make sure you tap that subscribe button so you never miss out on a new video ever again. I will check y'all tomorrow for the next day of Christmas. Bye!